Here's a crazy policy. In New York City, in the public school system, we have five schools in some locations. There are up to five schools in one physical school building. Okay, there's one building, and within that building, there are five different schools. Now, most of us, when we think of a school, we think there's the building and there's the school, that one school within that building, not here in New York City. It's been so long since they've built any schools that they're cramming five individual schools, okay, within one physical school building. So number one, it tells you right there that we need to build more schools. And building more schools, physical buildings, would be great for the economy. But the really crazy part about it is that the city gives billions and billions of dollars in tax abatements to wealthy real estate developers to build luxury condos that sell in the tens of millions. So basically, these are apartments that only billionaires can afford. And the city is basically giving these wealthy real estate development companies welfare payments. They're giving welfare payments not only to the developers, they're giving welfare payments to the billionaires who are buying these condos. So we're sticking five schools into one school building but we're giving billions in well, and by the way, we're cutting welfare whenever we can for really needy people. They're cutting the welfare. They're sticking five schools in one school building, but they're giving billions in welfare payments to real estate developers and billionaires so that they could buy condos. Now, maybe some people might think this is a great idea. I know our former mayor here, Mike Bloomberg, he thought that we should have all the billionaires in the world living here in New York City. That, that's his opinion, okay? And maybe it would be great for the economy in the sense that it would employ a lot of high-end real estate brokers and a lot of limousine drivers, and maybe you have a lot more fancy, expensive restaurants. My plan, building more schools, would employ a lot more people, have a much more diverse economy, which ultimately would be more resilient. It would be a stronger economy. I think that's the way to go. I think it's absolutely crazy to be given welfare payments because that's what it is. These tax abatements are basically welfare payments to billionaires so that they could buy condos. That's the way to go.